Hey, 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 it is an unstoppable day. It's your boy, Terrence, the unstoppable Coach Leverage, coming to you with a new first inaugural episode of Talking Small Business with Terrence Leftridge. We're on every Saturday morning at nine o'clock Eastern time. So come on in, like and share. Come on in, like and share. We welcome you to this show where we are helping you, helping the small business owner by providing tips and tools to help your business move from being stuck into being unstoppable. So now you guys who aren't familiar with me, I am Terrence, the Unstoppable Coach Leverage with Unstoppable Coaching Services, where we help you create your vision. We help you implement your vision, but more importantly, we hold you accountable to living the life you were created to live. I am a full-time entrepreneur. I am an accountability coach. I am a host, a motivational speaker, and a residential redeveloper with Unstoppable Home Solutions. So we know about the small business. We know about being a small business. We know about some of the trials of being a small business. And we know about some of the triumphs of being a small business. And our goal on this show is to share some of those insights with you so that you can avoid some of the pitfalls and move to the next level of your greatness. We <laughs> we want to help you get unstuck so that you can be unstoppable. And we're going to be bringing great, great successful small business owners and entrepreneurs onto the show to talk to you about their own stories of how they got started in small business and share some of the expertise that they have. And we're going to start off the show each and every week with one of our, what we're going to call them, the TSBT quotes of the week. So as you are coming in, go ahead and like and share, like and share, and we will give you that quote. And that quote for today is this quote right here. And it's very simple. And it says, a big business starts small. A big business start small. And that is from none other than the big businessman himself, Richard Branson. You guys know him from uh, all of his Virgin Airlines, and now he's got Virgin Voyages. Uh, he's just a mega, mega billionaire with all types of businesses. And if he tells you that in order for you to become a big business, you have to start small, then that is definitely an opinion that I would take to the bank. So you guys come on in, like and share, like and share. We're looking forward to seeing you and uh, taking any questions that you might have during this show. We won't be with you long, but we will be with you strong. We want to just hit you with those tips, tools, and strategies to help you make it throughout the week. And then we'll just let you go do what small business owners do. And that is making business and making money. So here, here's what we want you to do. If you're watching us live, I just want you to type present, type present in the feed right now. And we'll make sure that we uh, get your question or acknowledge you in the comments. If you are watching us in the replay, well, you know, just type replay in and we will always go back and we'll look at any questions or any comments that come up in the replay. And we'll make sure either myself or our guests gets back to you and responds to those questions. But let's get started. Let's get started with our guest today. He is a good friend of mine. Uh, he is a, a serial entrepreneur, and he believes in helping people so find solutions that are tailor-made to their business, tailor-made to their situation. Uh, he is hailing from D.C., but his business is global. He is my web designer and my business uh, coach in many of the things that I do to help unstoppable coaching go to the next level of our greatness. And I am pleased and proud to have him to be a part of the inaugural episode of Talking Small Business with Terrence Leftridge. So let's bring to the stage my friend, Mr. Andre Taylor 
of Taylor Made Solutions. Andre, are you on the call? Uh, let me take you off mute. There you go. Andre <laughs> Taylor, mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Good morning. I am present and accounted for. How are you doing this morning? I am fabulous. Good morning to you, too. How are you, sir? I am excellent. I am so excited to be on the show with the one and only Mr. Unstoppable himself, the first inaugural. <laughs> Man, I feel privileged. I feel honored. I feel blessed. Thanks for having me on today. No problem. I mean, you were tailor-made for this show, so I'm glad <laughs> that we were able to get you on. So Absolutely. take a second and just introduce yourself to the Talking Small Business with Terrence audience. Again, like Terrence was just sharing, my name is Andre Taylor, Taylor Made Solutions, actually, AKA Taylor Made Global. And we are your number one small business solutions provider in the world. And quite simply, our promise is to add value to people through collaboration, innovation, and servant leadership. And so we're always looking for ways, ideas, strategies, techniques to help our small business owners thrive respectively. So that's just a little excerpt about me. Um, companies going in four years, we're still, I consider a very new company, a very bootstrap company. Um, so we didn't start with like any major funding or anything, you know, to really launch out, but we're just like the average small business owner. And so we have a special place in our heart for them. Um, we love to serve them and, and love to really just edify them more on and help in any way that we can, whether that be through education, whether that's through coaching and consulting, um, or any of the other array of our 50 services that we currently offer our small business owner. So I, love it. I love it. So Nikki Hammer is, is present in the uh, comment room. Hey, Nikki Hammer. Tam Tam is present in the comments room. And over in the watch party, we've got Vivian D'Souza. She is saying great morning. So thank you for joining us on the watch party, Vivian. And thank you for everybody who is tuning in live right now. Again, you can go ahead and put your questions in the comment feed as we go along, and we will do our best to get your question answered during this time frame. But if we can't do it during this short time frame, we'll definitely get back to you uh, via direct message to answer your question. Now, Andre, you, you mentioned a whole lot of things, a whole array of things that TaylorMade Global does, but we want to focus today for the small business owner on three TaylorMade solutions that you guys provide that will definitely help our small businesses. But before we get into that, I just want to throw a stat out to you and let me see what you think about that stat. And it's something that I talked about in our promo yesterday. And it basically says that over 627 businesses start up each and every year. But that's not the great quote. The great stat that just blew me away is out of those 627,000 businesses that start each year, almost 600,000 of them close within the first year. That's a staggering stat to me. What what do you think about those statistics? And, and do, have you found that to be true in your experience with small business owners? Well, those are great stats. Um, I don't know where you got those from, but I'm happy you put those out there because I, it's, in my experience, a true depiction of what I see out there in the small business world. Um, that's just the sad truth about it or maybe it's sad maybe it's not you know i don't know how you would interpret that right or wrong but it is what it is and again on my side of the world i've discovered a lot of reasons as to why that is and that's really a part of our promise our mission is to help remedy those issues so that business uh, th those what is that like ninety percent or something? Oh those, man! I mean, it's so out of out of the six hundred and twenty-seven thousand businesses that start each and every year on average, thank you, Uncle Google, for those stats. <laughs> All right, shout out Google. Most <laughs> it's less than less than forty thousand of them remain man. in business after the first year, and 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 I believe a large reason of them is because they get stuck somewhere mm. along the line in those yes. first, first years of existence. So in your experience with TaylorMade Solutions, what are some of the things or or one key thing that you can think of that 
a lot makes businesses get stuck right before they even get their wings and are ready to fly? That's a really great question. Uh, one reason why businesses get stuck is because they lack clarity. Just flat out, you lack clarity. You don't know what you're doing, why you're doing it, who you're doing it for, <laughs> you know, like what, how it should work. And um, I'm a big advocate of goals. I teach on goal setting. I actually have an ebook that's published for goal setting. And to me, I would tie that into the business plan or the strategic marketing plan or strategic planning as a whole. There's a lot of terms that we can go by, but I think that is one of the major reasons why a lot of businesses uh, get choked up or they don't make it through is because they had not sat down and did the research and did the math and, and figured out, okay, this is who we're going to market to. You know, this is my product. This is how much it's going to cost. You know, this is our net profit, you know, just sitting back and like, you don't have to do this extensive. There are people that maybe it will take, you know, several months to do this. Um, I'm a believer you can do it in several weeks even. And some people I've even heard did a one page business plan that actually does exist as well, but you need to really sit down and, and figure these areas out. Check, you know, like kind of do a checklist or a step-by-step -step process to figure out, you know, how is my business going to operate and function and work and, and really figure that out. So I think that's a major key uh, when it comes to starting your business that a lot of people actually overlook or don't really understand its relevance or its impact long-term. I, I agree. You know, the, the greatest book ever written, it says it right there in scripture that if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So you've got the right division and make it plain and make it clear. So Absolutely. clarity is going Absolutely. to be the, the GPS. Uh, most people call it the global positioning mm -hmm. system, but you know, mm -hmm. over here at Unstoppable Coaching, we call it the God positioning system. That the mm, clarity, I love it. that business plan is going to be the GPS, the foundation by which you go forward in your business so that you can be one of the 595 that make it and not one of the 40,000 that fold up within that first year. And now your company, TaylorMade Solutions, you, you work in a lot of different areas to help people get clear, but we're going to talk about three areas that you, your business specializes in to help people get clarity as they continue to move forward with their business in 2020. So let's jump right into it. Let's talk about from the standpoint of a business's media and marketing. Why is that so important for the lifeblood of a business to get clear about what they're gonna do with their media and marketing? Absolutely, Terrence. That is super important because what are we all doing as business owners or as people on social media and otherwise? We're all uh, well, grabbing for people's attention, right? We all want people to watch us. Look at me. Look what I got. Look what I do. Pay attention to me. Enter marketing and media. You have to employ that in order to get noticed, to order to establish your brand in the minds of the people that uh, that are loyal fans or loyal followers to the people that will be in some time in the future. And so it's one of those areas that are things that you can never stop, right? You never stop doing. And this is uh, a lot of people underestimate its strength and power because the, the sad truth of it is that there's no hundred percent guarantee when it comes to marketing yourself, right? Or your business. You're like, okay, I spend this money. I spend this time, these resources. And I don't know if people are going to actually follow me or become interested or maybe to an exacting amount. And so a lot of people, I think, shy away from that. And I've been guilty of this personally as well, but it's something that is a major key for your business for a sustainable model. Now we can do this uh, by showcasing some other more established brands, i.e. Google or Nike or Amazon. So these are some of the popular brands, right? And you would think that, well, they're making billions of dollars every year. Why do they need a market anymore? <laughs> but the sad <laughs> truth right, is they're right. spending tens and hundreds of millions of dollars in marketing. Because I'll tell you why, Terrence, because there is a direct correlation to the amount of investment you put in marketing and media and your revenue as your business. There's a direct correlation there. Absolutely. And it's a proven fact that the more that you invest, the more return you get on the other side. Now, again, 
not to an exacting measure. It's really difficult to, you know, say, you know, if I put in $10, I'm going to guarantee get a hundred back. <laughs> you know, sometimes it might be 50, sometimes it might be zero, sometimes it might be 80, sometimes it might be a hundred, but you have to play the game. And I love a lot of these new things, uh, technologies they employ, uh, Google Analytics or Google Ads, uh, MailChimp, and they're like, a B testing, A B testing. They're like, right. you know, it's like yeah, catch right. Like, what is A B testing, right? right? That means you test this out to <laughs> see if this marketing works, and you test B out and you see if that works, and you go at it and you try to figure out and understand the patterns and understand what's the most effective approach for your business. So, major key media marketing. So, what we've done. Um, as part of the TaylorMade family, TaylorMade Media to be specific, is we've launched an unlimited graphic design services company. And so uh, to reference uh, an example would be like Design Pickle. A lot of people have heard of the Design Pickle where you get unlimited graphics and that kind of stuff. Now, a lot of people don't understand the value of this investment and how affordable it is. It's, for us, we do it, to me, the, uh, the most competitive prices that you can find in the market today. Why is this important? It's important because a lot of what small businesses are doing and will do, you know, making a, a profit or prediction is going to happen or occur in the digital space. And with so many applications being launched in the digital space, uh, you know, whether it's apps, social media, your LinkedIn, Alignable is a new one for small business owners. Um, Terrence, shout out to the Unstoppable Coach. He got me put on that. But there's all, always these different <laughs> softwares and technologies that are launching that are platforms for promotion and for, for advertising and to help market your business. And so the graphics is really key because that is what's going to help draw people's attention to your product or service. It's going to represent you in a professional way, represent your brand, um, you know, and all the et cetera. So in this, you know, you can get things that are designed uh, for Facebook, it can be optimized for your, you know, your YouTube or like Terrence, your channel, <laughs> that kind of thing. Right. Sometimes you might need a logo redesign. This is a real popular one as well. Like a lot of people did their logo 10 years ago, right? <laughs> and they never look back. So sometimes people, you know, you have an excellent logo, but you maybe just need a redesign. You just need to upgrade. So Absolutely. Just and, you know, one, one thing you just threw out there that I didn't know when I started this whole game of uh, branding myself uh, was that you had to have different types of sizes for different types of mm -hmm. markets that you were branding to. I, you mm -hmm. know, I knew of PDF, but I didn't know. Of, I knew and I kind of knew about JPG, JPEG, mm -hmm. but PNG and all these different sizes and dimensions. I, you know, I didn't do that well in calculus class. So when you put all these <laughs> numbers out of me, I said, I learned a new word real quick, and that was called outsource. And that's <laughs> that is definitely something that every small business owner uh, needs to know how to do to be able to outsource to the professionals the things that they don't know how to do as far as their media marketing is concerned so mm -hmm. that you can focus on the things that you know how to do best, which is sell your business or sell your product or service. So the logo mm -hmm. that you see behind me came out of the vision of somebody else smarter than me. Uh, I'm sure mm -hmm. the same thing, the, the, the logo that you see on Andre's hat right now came through a combination, came through a lot of A-B testing, as he said, <laughs> <laughs> to come up with the right logo that's, that speaks to your business. And that's mm -hmm. important for your business. You have to come up with the right vision and the right branding and, that speaks to your business. Then you can move to creating the logo and creating the marketing that now resonates with that foundation that you've created in your business. So Absolutely. you talked about the logo re redesign. Uh, unlimited graphics is something that you provide as one of your packages in TaylorMade Solutions, correct? Yes, sir. Absolutely. So we actually do a few different things. We do unlimited option. And we do a one-time design. Some people only need a one-time design. Okay, you know, I need a flyer or a poster. We do that all the time for an event that's coming up and you want it to be, you know, a cut above just a standard flyer you, would, you know, pull up on a Microsoft Word program or something like that. So if you're looking more of an enhanced design, um, the unlimited is really good for the person who, to me, is serious in the game that's saying, hey, I'm pushing content 
you know, maybe every day or every other day, I got to have fresh content. I need to switch it up. I need to change the color, the look, the feel. Uh, maybe they want to do mock-ups. You know, it, you, I want to put it on a t-shirt. I want to put on a hat. I want to see what it's going to look like because I want to maybe sell these products to the world. So that's, again, the unlimited is more for like your aggressive person. Or if you're smart and you want to do a hack, you like, hey, you get a couple friends and say, hey, let's split the cost. You know, I'll set the account up and I'll do the graphics for everybody else. So that's a way to kind of break that cost down. Yeah. Like, oh, now we're paying 50 bucks a month because I'm splitting Absolutely. it between a couple friends and we can get graphics anytime we want. So that's a major key because, again, there's no limit to that. Right. And then that's again, oh, oh go, go ahead. ahead. I'm sorry. Finish. Finish I was just going to say this, this logo redesign, I'm like looking out in the world and a lot of logos are dated and they, they look kind of bad, you know, <laughs> like this is be real about it. They look bad. So a lot of people, but they're, they're, they, they love their logo. They're like, you know, this is, you know, my baby. I had it for 10 years, you know, whatever it is. It's a great opportunity now to get that logo design, just a one-time fee of 150. It's super cheap to get that freshened up for you. I love it. I love it. We've got a question in the comment section from Nikki Hammer. Let's talk, throw it out there to our CEO, our small business owner of, of the day, Andre Taylor, CEO of TaylorMade Solutions. Nikki says, hey, as a new business person, before you start into your business, should you always have good foundation built, built into your company before, I'm losing the bottom of her question, before your foundation uh for your success so it sounds like before you jump out there and and do all these great logos the cadillac design should you have a strong foundation first and i think we just touched upon it but why don't you go go and hit that one more time andre yeah that's a really great question nikki thanks for asking i totally believe that you should um but i do want to put the kind of like the caveat <laughs> or the side piece to that which is um, I'm a believer of do it less than perfect. So, you know, some of us get analysis paralysis. We get caught up and we're like trying to think about it too much. We're trying to make it too perfect. So I want to give a little error for margin. Let's call it, you know, the 90 10 rule or something, you know, like get about 90% good. I think that might be sufficient 80, 90% to really step out because a big portion or part of you operating your business and making that a success is that you're going to fail. <laughs> okay. You're going to mess up. So as great as your plans are, there's going to be inevitable failure. And you, so your whole key is to not prolong getting started because a lot of people, they quit before they get started. <laughs> and I think, Terrence, you could attest to this. They, they, they fail in their mind and they're like, oh, it's not worth it. It's not doing it. So I challenge you to step out by faith okay less than perfect less than having all the ingredients in play and then realize that you know what i'm gonna mess up and it's a proven fact that the people that have greater or higher success they, their fail rate is much greater and higher than the person who's mediocre and that's one of the reasons why i consider myself a very successful person is because i have messed up a lot. <laughs> you know, it's like a ton of times I bumped my head, I made the wrong investment, I spent the wrong money. And I took those as learning lessons. And I think you have two choices. You can either become better or you can become bitter when life uh, gives you a bad deal. And I chose to become better as a result. And my life has continued to elevate um, because of that. That's some sage wisdom there. I think it was Winston Churchill who once said that success is just means being able to fail over and over and over again. Many mm -hmm. of the millionaires and billionaires in the world will tell you that they weren't overnight successes. They mm -hmm. were successful overnight after night after night of failing. So mm -hmm. that, that is a great point that you want to throw out there to all our small business owners. Uh, don't quit mm -hmm. before you really get started and recognize that failing doesn't mean you're a failure. It just means that you're getting closer and closer to your success. Great it's stuff. all part of the process. All, all part, part of, of the process. So let's jump into one of the uh, other services that TaylorMade Solutions provides. And man, I think a lot of small business owners are, are you know, squeezing, wringing out the towel from all the sweat that they have on their face <laughs> now because they are getting to that in inevitable day of April 15th, otherwise <laughs> known as death day. I mean, taxes. <laughs> <laughs> so taxes 
are, are, are a necessary evil in your personal life, but as well as in your business life. And if you don't get your taxes right for your business, mm-hmm. that could be one of those main reasons that keep you stopped and allow you to not get through the first year of business because mm-hmm. you're not taking care of your financial situation. So now mm-hmm. TaylorMade Solution also deals with the finances and taxes as far as small business owners. Why don't you speak a little bit about that? Absolutely, Terrence. Okay, there are two things that are certain in life, right? <laughs> and that's <laughs> death and taxes. Right? So I love to start there, right? As much and as we sometimes. don't like it, <laughs> you know, right. we want to fight it, it still it is there. Um, and so enter tax wealth doctors. So uh, this arm of the Taylor May family is specifically designed to help incorporate a holistic approach to making sure not only your financial uh, health, I guess you call it, yeah, your financial health is in order, but also your uh, physical health, your mental health. And so this is more, a little bit more comprehensive. So yeah, your taxes are a part of the ingredient, right? But more than that, you know, are your books in order? So we, what we do there is we employ a multi-point check assessment to make sure that everything is optimal and functioning in the way that it is. This is especially important for the entrepreneur, the solopreneur, the uh, the small business owner. Why? Because to, in my experience, they tend to have a lot more uh, stress. You know, they work a lot longer hours. You know, they got a whole different set of challenges than you would typically at your nine to five where a lot of that uh, those uh, ingredients are covered you know you really have to take on everything as a business owner and so what we do here is we examine ways that we can save you money uh set you up to make more money whether that's you know passive income or other investments you know how is your health making sure that you're able to function you know to that um but essentially right the time is now to do that and so that's actually like a program so it's not just a one-time thing you know the taxes is included in that right uh, that's just kind of a bonus feature but it's really looking at annually your your health and wealth overall to make sure you're successful in that regard i don't believe that um there's anything that doesn't matter in your life i believe that some things don't matter as much as others but everything matters. And so my approach is not to just tackle like, oh, professionally or financially, because we all kind of go to the numbers, right? What about spiritually? What about mentally? What about emotionally? Because these things also affect your ability, your performance and your success rate as as a business owner. Let's just be real about it. So I don't think we can be negligent or, you know, ignore the one or pay attention to the other. You have to look at it all. Absolutely. We're hanging out with Andre Taylor, CEO of TaylorMade Solutions on Talking Small Business with Terrence Leftridge. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you guys for putting present in the feed. Hopefully you are uh, taking notes because they say note takers are money makers and that the pen is digital recorder for the mind. So definitely make sure that you are getting this information and hopefully you'll start utilizing it today in your business as you go forward. We've got a question in the comments section from Maureen Victory's Mind Bobo. She says, what daily routines should I have to progress on my online business? Great question, because there is a difference between brick and mortar businesses as well as virtual online businesses. So do you see any differences or is there anything different that you should do for an online business, Andre? Absolutely. One major takeaway is consistency. Period. (laughs) Consistency. Okay. So what does that mean? It means that um, you need to show up on a very regular basis. So that could mean posting once a day. So just having a routine where you're constantly kind of giving value and pushing out and content giving value and pushing out so just have a consistent routine a lot of people don't do that they're hit and miss like uh, i'll post this week you know maybe take two weeks off post the next week and then the next week i'll post 10 times you know and so a better approach is kind of that that even kill and just kind of kind of nice gentle taps along the way so just keep a consistent approach to reaching out and i also want to say this a lot of people don't want to do this um they don't believe in it for whatever reason maybe they don't feel that it's worth the investment but paid advertising we got to remember that 
uh, if anything is free, um, any service is free, then you're the product. <laughs> okay, so like we love Facebook, we love Instagram, we love using all these uh, services and these apps and these social media sites. But remember, if it's free, you're the product. And so if you're the product, it's hard for you to promote or push your product, right? Because that's like a sub product. So all these uh, uh, platforms are structured and how they make revenue is off of advertising, right? Advertising dollars, the major key of how these systems work. And so it's not a bad idea to take a little investment and actually utilize these platforms as they were intended to be used and that's probably where you get the most bang for your buck to be totally honest and it's like i know we like love to do hacks and we like to come up with creative ways and that will take you so far but at the end of the day you're gonna have to break bread uh to yield the the true results of growth and expansion that i think a lot of us are looking for if that makes sense I love it. I just want to uh, piggyback on a couple of things that you said uh, in that great response to Maureen's question. Thank you, Maureen, for uh, putting that question out there. When you talk about online businesses, your business doesn't have a brick and mortar sign. It doesn't have a address. It doesn't have a physical location. Your business is the global community called the internet. So you've mm -hmm. got to make sure that you are putting your business out there. It's your business to put your business out there. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, no one's going to find you because you don't show up on Google Maps. <laughs> you and, mm -hmm. and you're not putting yourself out there consistently, like Andre said, you're not going to show up on Google at all. And mm -hmm. secondly, when you are putting yourself out there, when you are consistently posting, make sure that you are posting something of value. Don't mm -hmm. just throw a meme out there to say you posted something. If <laughs> you are in business, you want to post something of value that shows you as the expert or the authority in your business or points to why they need to get in contact with you to build a relationship with you in your business. So if you are constantly giving value consistently, then that's going to help your online business grow. And which leads us into the next thing. And what a great segue, Andre, you are the master at this. When you talk about <laughs> things that you need to do with your online business, many businesses get stuck because they want to hide behind the veil of the internet. But mm, yes. when, where you're making your money and where you're making a difference and where you're really bringing quality value is when you are able to get offline and mm. do something events some live events and you specialize in helping companies take their to the next level to get offline and to start doing some live events so let's talk about what tailor-made solutions can provide to customers as far as event planning is concerned absolutely and terence you make some really great points there and i just said this on a recent radio interview that i was on that like you know we personally operate largely in the digital space because we believe that digital is very relevant now and into the foreseeable future. However, I always put next to that, it needs to be married with the physical. It never can replace, right, that face-to-face -face interaction or that that touch from that, that, that personal touch. And yeah. so it doesn't take away that. I think some people get confused and they're like, I just, right, they put the veil up and then I'm just back here. No, you still have to engage. You still have to uh, network. And, and you know the saying, you know, your network is your net worth. And so now we're transitioning to tailor-made events. And I'm super fortunate, excited to be partnering with Vivian DeSouza on this, who is like a phenomenal event planner. And what we do in this space is we help coordinate these events for you. And so everybody needs it at one time or the other, or they're engaged, whether it's like a conference, it could be a retreat you need to do with your, your team or your staff. Um, maybe again, it's just a network event, a gala or something, or, you know, you need to get some people together and say, Hey, let's network. Let's have a good time, bring in some speakers and things like that. Again, a major key for any small business owner. And there's a direct correlation there. Again, um, the, the businesses that want to thrive and be a lot more successful, they attend these trainings, they attend these conferences, they attend these networking events. And that gets them out there, it gets them exposure to actually go face to face, right? Meet and greet, talk to people, connect, make those connections and build those bridges. And that'll help them obviously 
uh, scale to higher and greater uh, success in that regard. And so um, if you're planning an event, I do want to touch on a kind of a couple points. Um, one, where a lot of people get choked up when we go to do events and event planning is the budget, all right? <laughs> they don't really understand or properly estimate what this is actually going to cost <laughs> to what? put on a good event. <laughs> yeah, like A lot of people forget about this. They're like, oh, I got this great idea. I want to do this thing, you know? And it's like, you don't have any money, you know? Like, you got to <laughs> sell tickets. But, but you know? it's free? Andre, aren't they free? They can be, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, On the front. <laughs> let, me, you know let me throw it out there before you before you go on. People, we get caught up. This business business owners. Oh, I'll just do a free event, and we get caught up in thinking that because it's free for the people coming to the event, that that automatically correlates to it being free to put on the event. No, nah, oh. no, very few things. I, I know are, you know because I know you've done events. I absolutely <laughs> I know that perfectly. <laughs> I, and, I, and I've gone into events with that thing. Oh, I'll just get somebody to donate the food, mm. get somebody to donate the space. And even in all that, there are always going to be intangibles where you're going to mm. have to come out of pocket for something. And then mm. recognize those people who are participating or donating or allowing you to do things with them for free, oh, trust and believe there is a cost on the back end. Mm -hmm. And that's why they call it in-kind donation <laughs> because I'm kind, but I'm looking for something. <laughs> in return, right? In return. <laughs> <laughs> but that's for a later show. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I just oh, yeah. that so, <laughs> that's why an event planner is a major key again, because you need somebody that's gonna give you that that checklist and say, Hey, you know, are you looking at your budget? Are you looking at your marketing? Like, how are we gonna sell your tickets? You know, what about the venues that you need to find to do this? What's the venue that's most appropriate? for you and what about a sponsorship letter like how we're going to go out and do a, a, a secure sponsors and or have a slide deck to present to them and that kind of thing so just making those connections and we also have uh opened up a network around the country and this is also global so we'll go anywhere in the world um of like entertainment sources catering resources and the like um, that also kind of takes a lot of those pain and those burdens away from the person who's looking to pull off a really amazing event. Again, in my opinion, if you're a person that's trying to do the event and be a part of it, uh, it's really difficult or impossible for you to be both the event planner and the person that's doing the event. You need to delegate that out, outsource that so you can focus on what's most important, which may be, you know, filling those seats you know, securing your keynote speakers and, and the festivities that will uh, ensue around your event to make it uh, even a greater success. So super excited. We got events already that we're doing this year, and I, I share those as well on our platforms. We share those. Vivian shares those. And uh, we're excited to continue to expand in that regard and serve in that capacity for sure. Well, Andre, you are the epitome of a small business with the solutions that are tailor-made to help other small businesses go to the next level of their greatness, especially in this new decade. Uh, as we are beginning to wrap up, uh, I want to talk to how they can get in contact with you to get, uh, in case they want to talk about any of the services you talked about today on the show or the plethora of other services that you didn't get a chance to talk about what's the best way for them to get in contact with you? Absolutely. So the best way is TaylorMade Global, actually. Um, so we're kind of rebranding because we're expanding our reach into a global setting. And so TaylorMadeGlobal.com will lead you to kind of get more information or find out more about us or get that free ebook as well. Or TaylorMade Global as a handle on any one of these platforms, whether it's LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, you know, anywhere you go, you, you type in that key term and you will find us. We're pretty much everywhere. And um, I also like to invite them into uh, this new product that we launched, which is called the Global Membership. And so this is a membership that's specifically designed for business owners. So we took all these different ingredients and we fine tune them specifically for the small business owner. And it's only $99 a month. And you get, you know, you can get a contract made, you can get graphics, you can get your taxes done. So we actually made this like, it's valued over like $700. 
for a hundred bucks a month. It's a, a subscription base, but you can cancel anytime. It's an amazing thing to help move our small businesses forward. Oh, that's great. Cause it's kind of like getting a one-stop shop for a, a discounted kind of price. I definitely, definitely. I mean, we, we got together just a couple of weeks ago and did one of our uh, memorandums of understanding. Mm -hmm. We were able to do that right through the services of TaylorMade.Solutions. And Absolutely. if you don't know what a memorandum of understanding is, then you definitely need to go to TaylorMadeGlobal.com because there are things that in your small business, there are documents, there are forms, there are strategies that can take your small business to the next level. But you've got to learn how to reach out to the sources and learn how to outsource to the experts so that you can focus on the things that you want to do or you do best, which is selling your product or service and making money. That's what we're all about. So reach out to Andre Taylor at TaylorMadeGlobal.com. And I believe you uh, have a special offer for our Talking Small Business with Terrence family this morning. Absolutely. Absolutely. Again, we do have an ebook on goal setting. I'm actually currently doing a webinar series titled The Seven Reasons Why You Don't Accomplish Your Goals. Believe it or not, a lot of us uh, think that we're setting goals, but there's a lot of uh, key points that we're missing and we're wondering why we're falling short or they're not working out or they're not occurring as fast as we like them to. And so this book addresses all that. So again, go to tailormade.solutions for slash getting hyphen started or tailormadeglobal.com will actually take you there as well. And you can sign up and we will get you that free ebook for being a part of this show. Thank you. Absolutely. And we'll change that link on online. It's uh, tailormade.solutions forward slash getting hyphen started so you got to have all these different things <laughs> or, or tailormadeglobal.com will lead you there as well okay so yeah, same we'll place. yeah. To tailormadeglobal.com and you can get all this information on how you can get a free copy of his ebook you can learn all the different things he talked about about event planning marketing and media financing and taxes and you can learn how to find solutions that are tailor-made for your business. Well, thank you, Andre, for being on our inaugural episode of Talking Small Business with Terrence. Yes. It's a great amount of information and uh, we appreciate you and we're going to make sure that they flood your, your website at tailormadeglobal.com. Tailormadeglobal.com. Andre Taylor. Any final thoughts before we let you go, Andre? Yeah, I just wanted to show my appreciation. Thanks for having me on your first show. I believe it's going to be a phenomenal success going forward. So I look forward to seeing the other guests that you invite on, the things that you do as you continue to add value to bless people and to show them how unstoppable they are. So thanks I, again. I couldn't have said it better myself. That is Andre Taylor, CEO of TaylorMade Solutions. Reach out to him at tailormadeglobal.com. I'm gonna put you back in the green room. Don't, don't hang up though, Andre. We'll be back with you in a second. Appreciate you. All right, so that, that was great. Hopefully you got a lot of value out of this show. And if you wanna be a guest of mine on Talking Small Business with Terrence, then it's so easy to do. All you have to do is reach out to me, reach out to a brother. <laughs> Go ahead and reach out to us at info at unstoppablecoaching.com. Info at unstoppablecoaching.com. And we will have one of our great people get in contact with you, interview you about your small business. And who knows, you could be a guest on Talking Small Business with Terrence in one of our upcoming episodes. So go ahead and make sure you reach out to us uh, at info at unstoppablecoaching.com. I want to shout out to a couple of people who joined us in the watch party. Uh, Maria Simonetti said, good morning, folks. And she finally caught you live. I'm not sure if she finally caught me live or finally caught Andre live, but welcome, welcome, welcome. Please come back and join us often. Arlene Collins Wilson said, good morning. And she gave us a hand clap for the information. So she definitely was enjoying the information. So thank all of you guys who joined us this morning. And I just want to uh, give you 
an upcoming event that's coming in the Miami area. If you are in the Miami area and you can make it to this event, we want you to join us and catch Talking Small Business with Terrence live at the 100 Successful Women in Business Awards Conference on March 28th. March 28th at from, it starts at like nine o'clock in the morning and it's going all day. 100 Successful Women in Business will be honoring successful women during Women's History Month, for which we are in in March, from all across the globe. Great women doing great things, great products, great services, and they're giving back. So if you want to check us out, check out these phenomenal women and get a chance to possibly be interviewed by Talking Small Business with Terrence at the event, simply go to www100 swb.com www.100swb.com and that's where you can get all the information about vending and sponsorship packages and uh, maybe a possibility for you to speak about your business from the stage and if you are a small business and you are a woman my minority owned small business this is definitely the place that you need to have your face on march 28th and what better place would you choose to be than wonderful South Florida on March 28th? So again, go to 100swb.com, get more information. And we hope to see you there. And we hope to get a chance to talk to you live with Talking Small Business with Terrence. Like Andre said earlier in this piece, we are taking the online offline. We're going to be live at events so that you can see what we're doing with Unstoppable Coaching Services, as well as talking small business with Terrence. So, all right, you guys, that is a wrap. We appreciate you for coming in and joining us on this first episode of Talking Small Business with Terrence. And, and come back again. We're going to be on every Saturday, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Central Time, 6 a.m. on the West Coast. And of course, we'll be live global uh, on replay all across social media. You can also check us out on YouTube as well as uh, the Talking Small Business with Terrence Facebook page <coughs> that will be out, <coughs> excuse me, real soon. But as always, you know how I like to leave you, no matter where you are in the world today, Remember what Richard Branson said, big businesses start small. Go out, start your small business, and make it an unstoppable day. We look forward to seeing you next week on Talking Small Business with Terrence Leftridge over these airwaves. Take care. <laughs>